I don't know about you, but where I live, there's a 0.1% chance of you going outside and not seeing someone puffing the Elfington. And if you're at school, <laughs> bro, I don't even have to explain. You've probably seen your goddamn history teacher hitting a Julius Caesar. Vaping has been getting crazy popular, especially for teenagers around my age. Now, personally, I've dabbled. But vaping isn't really for me. So instead of talking about my own experiences, which are kind of boring, I'm going to talk about the types of people I've encountered. Starting with the, can I hit your vape bro guy? I swear, we all know a guy who asks if you got a device on you, no matter how many times you say you don't. Or even worse, if you do, he's going to suck all your juices out, leaving you dry as hell. He's going to empty your number two the campers. In high school, every vape kid has their secret underground meetup spot. Like for example, the public bathroom or the other public bathroom. And bro, at my school, the vape kids were camping out in the bathrooms so much that if you had to piss, you'd have to get escorted by a teacher and they would wait outside until you were done. Now, after the vape kids home base got compromised, these motherfuckers figured out exactly where the school property ended. It would just camp the border all lunch right in front of the principal. Number three, the disrespectful vape kid. The disrespectful vape kid is the type of guy to blow honey, bubble gum, vanilla smoke directly in your face. He's the type of guy to ask you for a ride in your car then start hotboxing the shit out of it leaving your car smelling like rainbow cupcake vape juice this fucking guy is the type of guy to rip a fat fucking cloud in front of your strict christian parents and i know none of my subscribers are that fucking guy you got it too cool do not be that fucking guy bro number four the creator Okay, obviously I haven't encountered this motherfucker, but I find this crazy because the man who created the vape, Han Lick, was a heavy smoker and his dad died from the effects of smoking. So he invented the vape simply to help him quit smoking so he wouldn't die like his father. But to this day, the guy still smokes cigs and he vapes as well. Bro, I know your dad is rolling in his grave right now. You gotta fucking drop that shit, man. Come on now. Number five. The respectful vape enjoyer. The respectful vape enjoyer is the type of guy to ask before he vapes in your car. The type of guy to blow smoke in the opposite direction of your face. Just overall a stand up guy. Shoutouts to all the respectful vape enjoyers, man. Fucking love you. Number six, the entrepreneur. The entrepreneur is probably someone in your high school who's running a breaking bad level operation over fucking Snapchat. They're loaded with infinite bars and they got goons running the city. Doing same day deliveries like this shit is Amazon. In the future, the entrepreneur's either gonna become a successful businessman or an El Chapo level drug lord. Number seven, the trickster. Bro is like Harry Potter with the vape. This motherfucker uses his... <laughs> This motherfucker uses his pen like a goddamn magic wand. Every time he blows a cloud, it's gonna be in a ring and probably start changing colors or some shit. And these guys are so good at stealthing that they just don't give a fuck, bro. They just take hits in the middle of class. Number eight, the cool guy. The cool guys always talk about how much he rips his vape ski and how much nicotine he's consuming. Yo, can I get a hit, bro? Yeah, bro, but this is illegally modded and has like 100 nick. I had to get my cousin to smuggle it over the border, bro, and uh, I have it every day. So my tolerance is really high, but yours probably isn't, and uh, you might die. Num nah. The crusty vape guy. This dude has been using the same vape for decades and hasn't cleaned it once. And when you hit it, bro... <laughs> It tastes like straight pennies. Stay far away from this motherfucker. Not just the vape, but like this type of dude. He's a liability, bro. Finally, number 10, the addict. This might catch you off guard, but this shit is a real addiction, bro. I got homies who can't go minutes without sucking their juice sticks. If you haven't vaped before, don't try it. It's ass and you're gonna die. I'm really not trying to catch any of you in a fucking hospital bed. So, unflavor your air. I'm trying to meet you guys someday. For real though, I love you guys. Peace.